Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss the next topic is so up to now we discussed about the self-excited machines in the previous case. But in the self-excited machines, we don't know how the EMF will be generated. So for that purpose, we are discussing about this self-excited generator. So the title is Buildup of Voltage in Self-Excited Generator under no load condition. So we don't have a load. It is a self-excited generator here. So this is the self-excited generator. Uh, here I am taking a generator. So it is a resistor rheostat that will be varied. This rheostat starts will decide how much of current will flow in this branch. That means in this field. This is the field. Okay, yeah. First thing, first thing, the most important thing is when the field current is zero, generally, when the field current is zero, there is no field current because initially there is no generated EMF, that's why there is no field current. When the field current is zero, this winding have the residual flux. This winding consisting of the some residual flux. Residual flux means with the field current zero, it consisting of the some flux. This flux is called the residual flux. That flux will be 5 to 10 percent of the rated flux. So if rated flux has some 100 webers, the residual flux will be 5 to 10 webers. Okay. How it is possible? The reason is the due to retentivity property. Due to retentivity property. So that is the reason when the field current is zero, although the field current is zero, it will generate some flux. It will generate some EMF. For example, at field current is zero, it will generate initially assume it will generate some 20 volts. It will generate some 20 volts. For example, it consisting of the 100 ohms generally. So the 20 volts by 100, how much it will have? 20 volts by 100. Yeah, generally, it, it the current will be 0.2 amperes. In this case, when 20 volts are generated, the 100 ohms is there, 0.2. Then 0.2 amperes will be flowing. Then initially, again the field current will be slowly increases. 0.5 amps then it will become assume it, it will become the 50 volts because how it improves the improve improvement is the generated emf equal p phi n z by 60a is the formula okay here the generated emf will be depends on two things one is flux another one is the speed here this is a generator the speed will be constant then generated emf will be speed will be take it as constant the generated emf eg will be proportional to the flux that, that will be proportional to the field current so here the field current will be increases automatically generated emf will be increases okay so then it will become 0.2 amperes 0.5 amperes so for the 0.5 amperes the emf will be the emf will be become 100 volts the for the 100 volts the current will become 100 volts by 100 will become 1 amp after that again continuously increasing okay initial field current is zero the initial for the initial field current zero the emf will be generated some 20 volts after that one by one one by one the emf will be generated so this is the main reason for the self-excited generator if there is no residual flux there is no generated emf in the self-excited generator that's why the residual important has the more priority more important okay next so here we have different different feed resistance look at here if we if we are using the variable resistance take it as the rf rf will be varied for example this will be varied so 
when we are generally we are increasing the field current and the generator emf you should take in the y axis so initially i am using if if i am using the more resistance more field resistance high resistance for that the the relation between the field current and generated emf the the waveform will be follows like this for rfi condition if the emf will be decreases to rf4 then it will be increases it will be slowly increases next for rf3 the curve will be like this for rf2 so rf2 it will decreases again then the curve will be follows like this for rf1 and again the curve will be the like this so if you if you think about this we have a small thing this is the line which represents the generated emf the red color line we have the red color line here this is the red color line this red color line is the most important thing that will the shows the generated emf line generated emf line okay that means at this line only the emf will be generated at this line at this point only emf will be generated here the most important thing is for rfi condition there is no emf generation there is no emf generation because rfi condition has more field resistance rfi condition is just look at here rfi field resistance more field resistance high whenever the field resistance is more means automatically field current will be low whenever the field current will be low that time generate emf at that case generate emf will not generate it becomes zero okay where the point the generated emf will be after that where uh, so just look at here rf4 in this rf4 it will be generated as is rf3 generated rf2 rf1 so for this all the cases from rf4 to rf1 for this all the cases the emf will be generates emf will be generates that means at this particular temporary at, at, at the particular these resistances emf will be generated but this case it will not generates so that's why we can take is this is the this is the last point so this point is called rf4 this rf4 is called the critical field resistance critical field resistance that means where after after increasing of the for example if we are taking the field resistance is more than rf4 the generated emf will become zero emf will become zero where where which resistance the resistance will be increases that point the generated emf will be zero that resistance is called critical field resistance critical point means this is the last point critical means last point right like that critical field resistance how we are getting how we are getting this critical field resistance we can make it rf4 i will write rf4 as rc rf4 as rc okay what is rc rc means critical field resistance critical field resistance okay right so how we are getting just observe here we are taking the open circuit of the load and by varying the field current we will get the generated emf so that is the thing only by drawing the occ curve and tangent for that curve we will get this rf4 we will get the rf4 okay right what is occ occ means name itself open circuit characteristics open circuit characteristics by doing that we will get the relative things relative things okay 
Uh, next, here also we can analyze the another thing. If you take the generated EMF, EG equal P phi NZ by 60A. P phi NZ by 60A. Here two things are important. One, one, P will be number of poles constant. Z will be number of constant. 60A will be also constant. Then the generated EMF will be depends on two things only. One is the flux, another one is the speed. Okay. Here, speed also have some limit. Speed also have some limit. Yet particular speed, if the, for example, if the particular speed, for example, uh, at particular speed, less than that speed, the EMF will be generated by the generator will become the zero. That speed also called as the critical speed. Okay, because it should be high. It should be high. But what about field resistance? It should be low. It should be low. That is the difference. Okay. Here the critical field resistance means at which less than the speed the EMF will be uh, generated by the generator will become zero that is called the critical field rest so critical speed okay look at here just observe the line for n5 it is n4 this is n3 this is n2 this is n1 so for n5 so for n4 we have the point we have the point this red line it will be emf will be generated but n5 the emf generation will become the zero and emf will be become zero this is called the critical speed nc is called critical speed what is this meaning critical means at particular speed at below the particular speed emf will be fails to develop emf fails to develop okay so this is about the this is about build up of self excited generation and critical field resistance and the critical speed Okay. I hope all of you understand the session. Thank you.